What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today we are going to talk about my number one tip for Distal Priest in Arena. Specifically solo shuffle, but this applies to it all. Okay, I do, I have news of coaching. I watch other people play. They ask for tips. Um, what can I do better? I'm stuck at this rating. It's always the same thing. It's always the same thing. It is, is, is the biggest mistake, I should say, is the positioning, okay? Being in a position to be able to fade the CCs, to death the CCs, to see things coming before they actually happen. That is the most important thing you need to do as a priest, okay? You are a super weak class in terms of recovery. If you can be in a good position, you'll be able to, one, avoid the CC in the first place, two, be in a position to hopefully you know, be able to press cooldowns at the right time, and three, be in a position to put out damage to help your team win, okay? So I got two games for you guys to show you um, of Solo Shuffle that I played. I had an amazing session at Solo Shuffle. We gained almost 300 rating in one day uh, I, I after I tanked, of course. I tanked yesterday, the day before, and then I, you know, changed things up a bit. And uh, yeah, I changed it up, and uh, we're doing better. That's all you gotta know. We're, gonna, we're getting 24. It's happening this week. It's going down. Be on the stream, all right? So let's get into this here. I want to I want to show you guys two rounds of gameplay here. Of oh, what am I doing here? Let me fast forward this. Just gotta, just gotta do it on the stream, man. All right, beginning of every game, renewing people up first and then shielding because you get the value of atonement because your mastery does not apply unless atonement is already on the target. Keep mind of that if you are trying to throw in a big heal or a big shield. If you don't have, if you want to try to get atonement on the target first by renewing, that's what I typically like to do. Okay, so this is the first mistake here I made. Okay, I did a good job trying to position in a um, being far further out. Jeez, is that why they go twice? Okay, trying to be further out. So this is there's a quite a few classes that you can look for with this Windwalker specifically. You want Windwalkers don't have a forty yard range paralysis. Okay, if I they push in, I should have seen this. This guy is booking it to me. It's obviously going to be a paralysis. It is tough because paralysis has a, an absolute ridiculous range. But I at, right out of that thing, right out of that, because I'm far enough away, I get myself time to in a position to see that fear is coming. I can death the fear. I fade the next fear. He goes for a third fear. The guy ends up sanking me, which was great. Um, and now I'm now I'm trying to do some damage here. I got my shields up. We didn't need to. Luckily, we did not even need to trade on that serenity. They weren't able to get any pressure off because the CC. Okay. So at this point here, like when it comes to positioning, I want to be in a position where my camera can see the entire team, okay? Figure out your UI, everyone's UI is a little different, but be in a position that you can see everything going on, okay? And be, and then, you know, you want to also, before the game starts, analyze what am I playing against? What could be a threat to me CC-wise, okay? In this game here, we have Paralysis, Hodge, Rep, and uh, Fear. Okay, all three of those classes CCs are preventable with death or fade. Okay, so I want to make sure I'm in a good spot to do so. Okay, so this guy gets the trap. When it comes to pushing in, let me mind you this as well. I know people say, what about fear? What about fear? Okay, the only time I recommend ever fearing, especially pushing in for a fear. If you're fearing DPS that are like over here or whatever, so be it. If to push into fear an enemy healer is out of another CC. If they're in a paralysis, if they're in a trap, if they're in a hodge, something that you can and always have fade with you. Okay, you're gonna run in, fade, fear. Okay, don't risk it. Okay, so that was great. Our trap forced out bubble. We end up bop wall. We're in a great spot here. We have a pillar if we need to. So if we do get juked on the fade, we do get juked on the death, I can still use the pillar. All right, you wanna always have that pillar when possible. Yeah, they force out, they actually get the sun on me. My Rhett actually does a great job kicking there. I threw a PS there just in case I got feared out of that. Spreading my Purge of the Wickets with Penance. Throwing out damage where I can. Shielding. Okay, and always keeping an eye on this lock. Okay, from this position, I am a threat of paralysis and or fear. So make sure that I am staying far enough away. As long as I can still hear my team. So because I'm in this position, look, I see the fear coming. Death. Okay, don't get CC'd. Great, we get a hodge. I try to throw damage in on that. Mind games, penance, and then I throw a... Oh, I don't have death again. <laughs> it would have been great if I had death at that time. But I think he still dies here anyway. I try to push him for the fear at that point. No trinket. Um, but look at that. So positioning, avoided about three CCs there. Really helps out going, to, going down with it. So this next round here. Let me get you guys. 
Okay, next round here. Starting off here, we're going to just get our dots up and reposition. They push in onto my my pillar. I am running away. And am I running to the side that their healer is at? No, we want to stay out of the fight. Stay out of the fight in PV. Okay, we uh, would walk off Serenity. I grip the guy out. Okay, we get hodged. Uh, I'm trying to trade PS on the hunter when he got into my line. Okay, at this point here, we have to reposition. What am I still a threat of here? I have threat of paralysis, threat of hodge over here, threat of hodge from this side with a potential rep. Okay, so I want to position in a spot that I can avoid those things. So if I, I don't want to be up here, if I am up here, it's not for short. I went up there to get the lock, but the lock ended up moving down. So he ended up fearing. I want to stay on this side of the ramp unless I'm CC. So at this point, we got a little cluttered, okay? Always keep in mind if you if you're, you're deep, your casters should not kite towards you, they kite with you. So always let, if you need to let people know that, you know, make sure you stay away. You know, when you kite, just stay away. Give me a little bit of distance. Okay, we're in a great spot to pump damage. The H pal is nowhere to be found. But this is a mistake on my end. Okay, I have been caught so many times with this when I turn my camera. Okay, so who is not in my screen right now? The Holy Paladin. Okay, the Holy Paladin would go for a rep right now. Very likely, I would not see it. Um, when it comes to fears, polys, whenever I turn my screen, I always get caught with it. So something I try to do my best with is to, when I turn, I look for the guy that it's not in. I look for like, I uh, usually look at these name plays here and look who is, um, who's not in my frame. So if I'm looking for a poly or a rep or something like that. Uh, but if you can, don't even do it in the first place. The reason I jumped off is just because there was a shit show up here. So I wanted to get out of that. Okay, we end up getting trapped with the bubble, which is great. I'm trying to put out some pressure. Okay, we get in -capped. Unfortunately, we were not far enough away from the fight, but we did pre-dome it, so we should be okay. He's going for a rep. He missed the cast. Okay, again, I'm, I'm going to reposition here. So this is this is not a great spot for us, but I really have no choice. If if optimally, I would be on the other side on that pillar, but at this point, I'm just going to try to use this as my pillar. It's not a great opportunity, but I am keeping my distance from the fight. Okay, we're just doing damage here, doing what we got to do. Don't want to push in too deep here. Okay, look at the paladin. He's running towards me. What am I going to do? Fade. Faded the Hodge. Okay, keep yourself the distance that you can avoid these things in the first place. Alright, we're getting damage out. As much as we can, throwing the shields up. Uh, Hunter goes for a trap. Okay, this applies if this was a fear or whatever, not a, yeah, whatever. And I said, you stay out of the fight until you have the opportunity. This is our opportunity. There is no bubble, no trinket. This full trap, he's right there. This is a time that I push in. Okay, so I end up pushing in off this, trying to do damage at the same time. Unfortunately, or fortunately, if you want to call it, the Warlock fears at the same time. I didn't know he was going to do that. You don't want to expect people to do that kind of stuff. So I was pushing in for the fear anyway. Um, he does, and our guy ends up bubbling. And okay, getting stunned. Uh, I, instead of trinketing to MD this, I see the rep already coming. I wait it out, it instantly trinket the rep, go for the MD, push for the fear. On the second off here, the red does uh, sank that very quickly, kind of sus, honestly, but <laughs> uh, we get some more healing going there, and then we find our opportunity to damage here. We are in no danger of getting CC'd at all. We are going to pump the dam. Okay, in my games here, this is, I do want to try to pull, pull away a little bit from here. Okay, we do get Hodge. See, this was a mistake on my end. I could have played a little bit further away, would have given me the opportunity to fade that Hodge. At this point, the game is really in our hands. Okay. Hunter gets a trap. What are we going to do out of this? You know what we're going to do. We're going to go for CC out of it. He goes for fear, which was great. I didn't expect my solo shuffle teammates to do that, but they did. And he goes for the fear. I would have went, I would have gone go for the MC there instead of the fear. A lot of people don't run MC. There are clutch moments where you can MC if there's like a chance that you can fear, but you can't get there in time and it's really clutch. They have no trinket. The guy's about to die. You're going to regret not running MC. And same thing for like Blazes, just being able to MC people off. But, um, that's all I got for you guys today. I wanted to just give you a short video on the biggest tip ever, man, is positioning. Everything else will fall into place, man. I know people that say, like, the, I, I, I just, I waste cooldowns here. I, I do this, I do that. If you position, everything gets easier, okay? It doesn't matter if you're the best or worst player. I'm not the best player. Uh, I'm not the worst player, but I'm not, I'm not that great, all right? I just get the right, if I get in the right position, I can see the game better. I can trade cooldowns more efficiently. I see stuff on my screen, okay? I see him popping Serenity. I see him popping Wings. I see um, a, ho a Hodge coming in for me. I see a Paralysis coming for me. I see him casting Fear. I can make just more informed decisions and better improve your my outcomes.
All right, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you guys do tune, on, tune into the stream, twitch.tv slash markers. We're going to be pushing that 2400. I'm going to get it this week, man. I believe in myself, okay? We're going to get it. So hope you guys see you there, and have a great day. Peace, peace.